turn it on and rip the top off. You're listening to You're listening to the Thunderhead fucking show right here on Metal Devastation fucking radio, motherfuckers. Crank it the fuck up, goddammit. What's up? This is DJ Thunderous. I am actually here with Chris from the band West of Hell. What's going on, Chris? Hey, how's it going? What's going on in the world of West of Hell? Uh, well, we're just getting ready to uh, do a coast to coast of uh, Canada, getting in the old tour bus, uh, doing uh, 24 dates coast to coast here, and we're dropping a new record. And uh, we've been slowly uh, releasing uh, singles from our new record which is uh, called the uh, blood of the infidels and, awesome uh, yeah man we're just rolling it out getting ready to uh, drop it on the world that's cool so for all of our listeners can you give us a you know a brief history about the band and you know how the band started well uh west of hell the name is a play on west auckland in new zealand because uh the uh the band is originally from west auckland in new zealand and uh the guys uh, were there um, flying the trade, you know, for a couple of years, and they couldn't quite find a vocalist that, that matched the music. So uh, they collectively just uh, looked at a map and was like, all right, where's the nearest British colony from New Zealand? And uh, I guess a dart landed on Vancouver, Canada, and they all moved here. Really? And, and they were looking for a vocalist and playing shows as an instrumental piece. Like... Um, a friend of mine was, was at a show and they were playing as an instrumental band. He called me up and he was like, Man, you should be singing for this band. Mm-hmm. And I was like, What? What are you talking about? You're singing for what band? Yeah, you've been drinking, right? But, uh, right. <laughs> I, went, I went and I checked out their material online and it comes from a very, very old school um, heavy metal place, you know, like uh, a, a lot of that uh, British invasion influence and the Maiden and the Priest. And, uh, you know, some, some more contemporary sort of groove thrash like Pantera. This is stuff that I'm, I'm, I love. It's in my blood. And just to hear a bunch of younger guys, you know, um, really focusing on a traditional metal sound, it's, yeah, that's like right up. That's, that's my wheelhouse. So it was pretty much a case of beer and uh, a meet and greet, and I had myself another band. That's cool. So are you currently in two bands, or are you just focusing on West of Hell? Yeah, I, I also have another uh, uh, sort of a theatrical uh, uh, mashup heavy metal band called Zimmer's Hole mm-hmm. with uh, with some of the boys from Strap Me Young Lad, and, uh, and uh, Gene Hoagland was in that band for a season. And then I've also got West of Hell, and I mean, that's that uh, keeps my plate pretty full. Two metal bands on the go. That's cool. Now, do you have to switch up your vocals in between both bands, or? Yeah, I, you know, you don't want things to just blend into one project. So, there's two very distinct styles going on between the bands. That's cool. Well, how we found out about you, I actually we saw your video for Infidels online, and I'm like, Mike's like, you have to see this. This is excellent. And we instantly, we watched it over and over again. It's really, really cool. And that's how we, you know, learned about West of Hell. And I think that's, you know, really neat because that's what we do here. This is, you know, our thing. And it's, like, really cool. Well, I think, uh, you know, in today's, just the the way that the business is, you really need your visual presence. You really need to to exist online and uh, videos and little film clips are are really really become a a huge part of you know how you create your brand and promote your music so we're really proactive in doing our own videos we're not going to wait for a record label budget you know we find the means we live in Vancouver it's a very very uh, film industry forward town so I know a lot of people a lot of cameramen a lot of directors of photography and uh I'm, I've been getting into producing and directing videos for a few years here, so yeah, I mean, uh, thanks very much uh, for the critique on that video. 
Oh, yeah. Just keep rolling this stuff out. We're filming stuff all the time in the jam space, on the road, the antics. It's, you know, I think that's what people appreciate. They want to see, they want to see where the music come, comes from and where you come yep. from. So we try, and, we try and put that forward as much as possible. So when you join the band, is, do you guys still have the same current lineup or have things changed at all? Unfortunately, unfortunately, our original drummer Andrew Hume was deported back to New Zealand. Um, just the way things go with Canadian immigration, and, mm -hmm. and um, the original guitar player, his wife got pregnant in New Zealand, and so he had to go back and do the right thing and, and be a dad. And then well. we recruited, we recruited two new members for the band. The, the record, uh, the drums were done by Ashley Pearson. He's also a revocation in Three Inches of Blood. But he, with his commitments to revocation, he couldn't commit to the band. So we've got another guy named Paul Drummond, who's now a full-time member. And our new guitar player's name is Chris Schultz. And he's a, a, a bit of a Vancouver legend. Um, he's, I think, ranked fifth in North America for a finger pinking acoustic guitar style. He runs a music school. That's really cool. interested guy with a lot of depth and uh, I think those two guys sort of brought the East Vancouver metal stylings into this sort of uh, New Zealand metal sound and we've sort of really really crystallized and, and find it. We've, we've sort of found our direction. Do you guys get along all the time? Oh yeah. Yeah? yeah. You don't have your typical, you know, well, we want to do it this way, we want to do it that way. So you guys kind of all built together and formed West of Hell, oh, I guess. We're, we're a pretty functional democracy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit of uh, a little bit of beer as lubrication. We, we tend to work things out in a dem democratic fashion. Everyone contributes to writing and, and uh, the whole uh, business responsibilities we delegate. That's cool. Who writes yeah. the lyrics? Um, I'm a primary lyricist, but uh, musically, I think uh, it's sort of a, a five-way contribution. That's pretty cool. Who are some of your influences that got you into music? Oh, wow. That's a really long list. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm very Iron Maiden-centric as, as a vocalist, you know, and uh, I love Judas Priest as well, Ronnie James Dio, uh, the aforementioned uh, uh, Pantera, Slayer, uh, you know, Metallica, I mean, it goes on and on, all the black metal, I'm influenced by everything myself, but I think mm -hmm. for this band, it's, it's the traditional heavy metal. How about the other guys, what kind of influences do they have? I mean, if you could speak that for them, I'm not sure, but... Um, well, I think uh, Paul Drummond is very into uh, polyrhythmic tech drumming. Mm -hmm. Some of the more, you know, the more complicated, uh, ridiculous mathematical drumming styles that have emerged, you know, as a drummer pushing his his boundaries. He's really into that. And, uh, I mean, I can't speak for the other guys, but I think we're all pretty much in the same ballpark when it comes to influences. Yeah, you guys are pretty well, uh, I'm just saying that like I said, the video there, it yeah. just was really good. Where did that video take place? That's kind of neat. I, you know, it's just... Um, well, we shot in two locations. We shot in a, in a sound stage for the, the dark portion of the video. Mm -hmm. Very, that's used to the comp the other images over. We shot that in a really, just a, basically a, a black room. And then mm -hmm. uh, we went to uh, a junkyard out here. In, I said uh, that. Yeah, the that's funny. I said, that is so cool. And I said, they are in a junkyard. That's what I, I had to find out for me because that, that's what I initially said when I watched it. I said, that's really cool because it goes right along with the We Are the Infidels. Well, we're trying to get that sort of, you know, desolate destruction, uh, mayhem sort of feel that, I mean, some parts of the world that are under some severe distress you know mm -hmm. tend to look like but we, wanted, we were trying to get a little bit of downtown Beirut sort of look to it but that's the, that's the best they could do in the junkyard right but you can really feel it when you're singing it though too you know you're there cool, and it's cool. happening and it's what's going on it's like really really cool yeah that song I mean that song is sort of, sort of personal to me because uh, I mean when 
you know, when the extremists uh, opened fire in Paris on the uh, Eagles of Death Metal show, you know, that sort of really brought it home to me. It was like, wow, okay. So musicians and music fans are now we're we're now targets, you know. Yeah. In okay. this, in this, in this political shitstorm that's going on, like exactly. now we're targets, right? So, I mean, I think it, uh, artists uh, are caused to comment, you know, because it essentially you end up with a target on your head to say anything about this. I mean, exactly. Uh, yep. Jihad is a, a, a very extreme in their viewpoints, right? And I, exactly. essentially, that's what the song is about. We're all marked for death. I yep. Mean, those guys view us as the non-believer, the infidel, and their dogma is we all have to die. Exactly. And uh, I mean, any, I mean, uh, this is not in any way an anti-Muslim sentiment. It's 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 very much against what man will do to his fellow man in the name of God and religion, right? Mm-hmm. And every every faith on this planet has done horrible atrocities to each other and faith. And right, uh, well, you know, I just, it's our responsibility to sort of t- to paint the picture and, and tell it how it is. And, and well, you definitely, you definitely did get it out there, I'll tell you that much. Cool. Alright, well actually we're going to let everyone hear that track yeah. actually. And we'll be right back. Here's Infidels. Crank it up.
Well, yeah, that was just infidels. I have to say to everyone out there, I hope you enjoyed that track because I do. <laughs> right on. Your, your vocals are real strong in that, I have to say that, and you can just feel it. Thank you. You're welcome. So, with your new album coming out, um, I know you have a new track releasing this Monday. What did you guys have to go through to get the album going and, you know, to pick out the tracks that you wanted to have on the album and, you know? Well, I, it's, uh, it's an interesting process to putting together an album. I mean, most of the time you end up with two or three songs that don't make the record, you know? And uh, it's it's a it's a strange thing being inside of the music. You make this stuff, and uh, your perception of it is often very skewed as to how people on the outside might view it. So the whole process of deciding what song goes first, what's the strong opener, what flows, what works, you sort of have to bounce it off other people around you and uh, get a feel for it. But it's always a a fun process. It's like a and what is the name of the new the album? Blocks. The new album yeah. is Blood of the Infidels. Cool. And you guys were in Mexico, right, on tour? Yeah. Yeah. And what did you? What tracks did you guys play out live while you were in Mexico? Uh, we we mostly concentrated on the stuff um, from our first record, mm -hmm. which is called Spiral Empire. And we were just uh, just sort of test driving three new tracks in Mexico. So I guess it's, uh, they're probably the uh, they're probably the first first folks that got to uh, taste the new material live. Cool. And uh, uh, if you haven't had a chance to go down in San Mexico, Mexico City, not tourist Mexico. I mean, the real, the heartland. It's an amazing place. Amazing. Experience. I've heard it is that they're very welcoming and the fans are just awesome. Super, super awesome. What other bands did you guys get to play with while you were in Mexico? Uh, we played with a band called Piranha. That's a really, really cool uh, Mexican thrash metal band. Uh, we played with a band called um, Dead Man's Hill, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Like they're like. Um, uh, you know, like sort of a Tarantino, Maxi style music soundtrack. Yep. Feel, but heavy metal. Cool. Very cool. Dead Man's Hill, and we uh, did uh, the whole tour with a, a band in Vancouver called Sense of Death. Awesome. And no. There. What kind of beer did you drink while you were in Mexico? Oh I know you man. were talking about beer. I I enjoyed the uh, Modelo Especial. That this is probably my favorite Mexican beer. Cool. I'm not a big fan of Corona, but I think it doesn't travel well. And it, it, in Mexico, Corona is actually freaking awesome. But it, it, I don't like it in Canada. <laughs> oh no, we're we're a beer centric society here. You, we can get wh anywhere in the world, whatever beer it is, we got it here. That's cool. And you do have a new tour coming up in April, right? You guys are yeah. touring. All of Canada. All of Canada. Yeah, we're going with our good friends X Pain. That's another band you should check out. X Pain. With it, an X and pain. X X E X. Like e -X, excruciating, okay. excruciating pain is what they're called. But they oh, cool. X, X we'll have to Canada. check them out. Yeah, they're doing some support for us across across Canada. And any other bands you guys are gonna be playing with, or? Oh, di different in every town. Uh, the mm -hmm. locals, yeah, a couple, a couple locals in every town. Oh, that's cool. So there, you guys are allowing the locals to come in, and that's really cool because you know it's tough. It's really tough out there. Oh, well, you got. Um, I strongly in local opening. You know, yeah. Support the local scene, and uh, and you know their friends will come up to them. So. Cool. I did and see that you are Go ahead. Yeah, we end the tour in, in uh, Vancouver at the Hyperspace uh, Metal Fest. Oh, that's awesome. So you'll have a lot of bands you'll be playing with. Yeah. Any good headliners? Um, shit. <laughs> the, the Order of Chaos is a band from Alberta. That's yes, really they cool. are. Yep, they're real cool. Yeah, we'll, be, uh, we'll actually be doing a couple of shows with them prior to the festival 
Cool. Now, are you guys uh, currently, you know, before the tour, have you know, going back into the studio, or do you have things going on in the other projects? Uh, well, uh, we're just writing for uh, for uh, album number three. Cool. Writing and rehearsing until we uh, until we uh, hit the road. In my other project, Zimmer's Hall, for fans of Zimmer's Hall, we're also working on our next record um, when the, uh, when the uh, opportunity is there to get everyone together and do that. That's cool. And, and yeah, and I, I think, uh, you know, that's the priorities for, for this year, and uh, I think we shoot a couple of little more videos. Oh, cool. All right, I know you have Chrome Eternal dropping this Monday. We're going to give everyone a chance to check it out, and then we'll discuss it. So crank it up. Here's Chrome Eternal.
Oh yeah, that was just Chrome Eternal. I don't know if you're all tuned in, but that was from the awesome band West of Hell. We have that actually dropping this coming Monday, so hell yeah. Yeah, we, we did a really goofy video for that song. Um, we're, we work uh, with a, a local photographer uh, named uh, Daniel J. Collins and uh, a cinematographer named Joe Klimke. And they collaborated because uh, Daniel is, shoots still photos. Mm -hmm. And so we uh, got both these guys at our rehearsal space with a still camera and a movie camera. Cool. Um, combine still shots with uh, video so we're just sort of experimenting with the cinematography and, and we're just you know having a goofy good time rehearsing but <laughs> is that that's you know, the one that I saw on your Facebook correct that's just a little snippet of yeah. a snippet okay yeah I was laughing just at that just a little teaser just a little teaser yep and uh, yeah that song uh, that's basically about but hot rods Fast cars, doing burnouts, being a jackass. Yeah. <laughs> drink a beer. <laughs> drink a beer. <laughs> our 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 our, uh, our lyrical content tends to be the beer. <laughs> hey, now what's your favorite beer when you're in Canada? <laughs> My favorite beer in Canada. I really like this stuff called Fat Tug. It's a, it's an IPA. It's about seven percent alcohol. Oh wow! Lo locally, and mm -hmm. uh, it, it, if if I want a fancy beer, I'll have a fat tug. If I just want to crush the cans, I'll go PBR. Oh, <laughs> I know PBR. exactly. Everyone says. <laughs> 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 but then again, I talked to one of our DJs who's in Germany, and he said that, you know, because we drink Bud Light, that that's just like Panther piss. That's what he tells me. No, uh, <laughs> no, it's the worst of the worst, but it, uh, it's it's like drinking. They, they go down fast. Yeah. So oh, when you guys... It's, it's yep. Pilsner or Urkel. Is uh -huh. my but that's not Canadian. Yeah. Do you guys have any, like, beer places around that make their own beer around you guys? Uh, just in my neighborhood alone, there's 18 craft breweries. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. I guess so, you're walking a lot. <laughs> no, we do that. We do a, a, a brewery call on foot. And you there you go. go. From brewery to brewery. And yep. have a plan. <laughs> That's cool. So... When you guys are do touring in Canada, do you know what your set list is going to be like yet? Uh, well, I can tell you that. <laughs> I think we're going to focus 50-50, 50% on new material and 50% uh, from the last record. That's cool. And I did see that you're into pyrotechnics and videos and things like that. Do you guys have any, you know, special things you do while you're on stage as far as pyrotechnics or anything? <laughs> Uh, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Uh, you know, just what you would expect. They had metal ghosts, smoking, smoking lights, um, a CO2 cannon. And uh, I tend to do some metal work on stage with cool. a metal grinder. All right. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys sponsored by anyone or, you know, any company? They, uh, they tend to uh, supply us with as much beer as we can drink. And... Uh, we uh, fly the banner of their brand. That's, That's cool. Really what was the name of them again? Good Company Lager. Cool. Awesome. We'll have to check them out. I don't know if you guys can get it down there. No? Okay. That's true. We would have to have it come across the border. Well, I'd have to ship you a flat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys are going to be leaving to go on tour soon and have a lot yeah. going on, I think. Yeah. Do you have anyone you want to big, you know, make a shout out to out there or anything else you want to talk about? No. Well, hey, thanks to all of our fans and all all the infidels, you know, worldwide uh, for backing what we do. Uh, you can check out all of uh, the ongoings with West of Hell, West of Hell. Dot com and West of Hell on Facebook, West of Hell on Instagram. You can check out my personal page, Lord Heathen at Hotmail and Lord Heathen on Instagram. We're always posting the goings on and what's happening. And uh, 
you'll be the first to know when something new comes down the pipe. Oh hell yeah! Give us a you know shout anytime. We'll be we'll interview you anytime. You guys are awesome. And I do have to say, speaking with you, your voice sounds so different when you're singing. <laughs> totally All different. Right. All right. Well, thank you for you know giving us a call and. Anyone who wants to request West of Hell, you can always do it here on MetalDevastationRadio.com. Hey, my pleasure. Thank you for the support. All right, cool. Hey, you're listening to MetalDevastationRadio.com. I'm Lord Heathen from West of Hell. And remember, this is where metal reigns supreme. Oh, hell yeah. Kick-ass interview. DJ Thunderous and Lord Heathen from West of Hell. Up next, uh, we have some Piranha. Uh, the Order of Chaos, Destruction, Warbreaker, Tyrannics. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Crank it the fuck up. Cheers.
Metal Messiah, Damien Chaos. Who the fuck is this asshole? And you're listening to the Thunderhead Show with DJ's Thunderhead and Thunder S, my big bro, my big sis. Only on Metal Devastation Radio, the best heavy metal station on the fucking internet. Crank it up, motherfuckers.